Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new and free file recovery tool from Windows, Windows File Recovery. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to take a very quick look and see how good, or even if it works at all, the new Windows File Recovery tool. So this is a free tool available from the Microsoft Store. So if you're on your Windows 8 or Windows 10 machines, you can download it from the store, no problem. I don't think it's available for users of Windows 7, so uh, you guys are out of luck, unfortunately. But it's free and you can give it a shot on your Windows 10 device. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now this does work with, apparently, with SD cards or with flash drives, that kind of thing. Now you can use something like this, a flash card reader, this generally is the safest way of doing it. If you've got one of those front-mounted readers on your PC, the front-mounted readers generally aren't particularly good, and especially the card readers are quite cheaply made. So I would strongly suggest if you're trying to recover files, get a decent USB 3 hardware card reader and USB device so you can plug your device in. It will make the process a lot faster. So having said that, let's go on and take a look at it. So here we are, here is the Windows File Recovery tool. Now you can go to the Microsoft Store and just type in Windows File Recovery and you can download it, it is free. You don't need a Microsoft account or anything like that, it will bypass that. And I've gone ahead and already installed it just to save time. But basically this is an overview. Uh, accidentally deleted an important file, wiped clean your hard drive, unsure of what to do with corrupted data, Windows File Recovery can help you recover your personal data, which is fantastic, which means you don't have to spend money on these crazy programs which advertise all sorts of weird and wonderful claims that they can recover your data, and generally they don't. So for those of you who want to give this a try, first of all, this is a non-destructive way of doing it. So let's click on Launch. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at our USB stick. So the USB stick we've got installed is this one here, USB Drive E, and currently all it has on there is FAT32 in, uh, format, and it's just got a BAS flash, which we did on a previous board. Now, unfortunately, this particular drive had some stuff on there previously that I would have quite liked to have kept, but I didn't realize that when I formatted it. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan the drive, see what we can pick up, and hopefully we can recover some, if not all, of those files. So Windows File Recovery. This is a command line based tool. So for those of you who are a bit scared of the command line, look away now. But for those of you that are uh, quite happy to go on the command line, let's go and see what we can do. So first of all, you get this user account control. Do you want to allow this to make changes to your device, etc.? So we'll click on yes, and it will open up a command line prompt. And let's centralize that. So the important thing here is the usage. Now with all command line tools, usage is where we have to kind of really be careful and know what we're doing. There's also switches, which the switches are all laid out here nice and neatly. And there are additional switches you can get. Also, if you go to uh, the website here, aka.ms, dot winfr help there's a complete user guide so if there's anything in this brief kind of look that i don't cover you can find out all the information there or if you want extra support then you can email winfr.microsoft.com and you never know you might even get a reply so usage so we've got winfr is the program name then you label your source drive then your destination folder and then any switches as you would normally do in a command line and here are what some of the command line options are. So we've got R for segment mode, which is works in NTFS only. Um, this is for recovery using file record segments. You've got filters, so you can have segment modes, wildcards, trailing, all that kind of stuff. You've got X, which is signature mode. So this is recovery using file headers. This is what I would suggest to use if you're trying to do it from a FAT32 formatted drive, such as an SD card or a USB stick. And you can also add other switches as well. So you can have the signature mode, but also then you can add additional file groups or like JPEG or PDF or whatever the case may be. So as you can see, they've got some examples here of usage. So WinFR, C drive, and a D drive is a recovery destination. So this is if you're wanting to scan your C drive and it puts your recovered files onto the D drive. Now that is one thing to bear in mind. This cannot uh, recover from the same drive to the same drive. So you do have to have two separate drives or at least two separate partitions available to send and read the files from. So with that said, let's uh, see what we can do. So our usage is gonna be WinFR, and then we want our source drive. So our source drive is gonna be our USB drive, which, just to double check, yep, yeah, it's drive E. So E colon. And then we need to have our destination folder. So I'm gonna choose the C drive, and we'll call it, um, 
test for argument's sake. And there, put a forward slash in there. And then what we want to do is add our switch. So like I said before, our switch, we're going to use the switch X. So signature mode. So this is using file headers, which should work pretty well. So there is our total command. So it's WinFR, E colon, and send all the information from there to C colon, a folder called test, and our switch is going to be using signature mode. So hit enter. So now we've got a fail to create destination folder. Uh, what have I done here? Maybe that folder cannot be made. So let's try that again. And um, let's put another file name in there. So let's try recovery. So E colon, maybe that's because there's a capital E. Let's try it with a lowercase e. Let's start again. So WinFR, E colon, C colon, forward slash recovery. And extension X. Okay, that's where it's out. So for some reason, it didn't like something I did in there, whether it is the test folder, or whether it was the uppercase E, but again, we're all on this learning curve together right now. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna use our source drive E, the destination folder is gonna be recovery, straight recovery, and the filter is star.star, .star, so all file types, and the extension filter is gonna be uh, the wildcard there, so that's pretty much everything. There's our sector count, cluster sizes, all that sort of stuff, which we don't really care about. Uh, we're going to be prompted if there's any overwriting of data. Um, we're in signature mode, as we said before. So we've got the option to continue, so we'll hit yes. And this will go ahead and scan and process the disk. Now this is a, I believe it's a 32 gig SanDisk Extreme USB stick, so hopefully this won't take too long. So we're going to let this carry on and do its thing, and we'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so we've got our recovered files, and uh, yeah, there's a ton of them, 42,000 files and progress 100%. We've got the option now to view the recovered files. Now, there's a weird thing that happens with this. I've actually tried this off camera to see what the deal is. Um, this actual file string, C colon four slash recovery, then the recovery folder, et cetera, et cetera, basically does not show up in Windows File Explorer, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, you do actually have to, do like a manual search for recovery and then you can find it, but you cannot find it from the normal file explorer, which is very odd. Anyway, so view recovered files, we'll click on yes, and it opens up a new window with our recovered files. So I would say ideally, if you can, just select all of the files and just put them into like another folder on your main drive or your desktop, and then you can sift through them just for ease of use. Now, as you can see, there's a recovery log there now, so we can, uh, we can see what has been recovered. Now this hasn't made any changes to the existing USB drive that we've scanned. So that drive still contains technically just one file still. So if you want to, you could highlight all of this and then copy it back to the drive. Although there is considerable amount of files there. So let's see what we've actually managed to recover. So we're going to go into uh, docx. So these are your kind of Word documents, that sort of thing. And we've got some reasonable file sizes there, so let's uh, let's take a random one and see what the deal is. And that one is, oh, that was a, a form to fill out for the a Banggood affiliate program. So if you want to join up to that, then there's the link. You can try that for yourself. So let's open that up. Uh, what else have we got? Let's try that one. And Oh, that was uh, a Techware review uh, guide for the Techware Phantom keyboard. So you see this recovered actually uh, a decent amount of things go into uh, JPEGs, there'll be all sorts of JPEGs there, various things that we've done. So yeah, it's, uh, it's recovered quite a lot of stuff there. Uh, we go into MP4s, and it appears to have recovered uh, a few videos. Not all the videos from what I can see, uh, let's have a scroll through. When you get these sort of files with a no thumbnail, generally it means they, that's a failure. Although saying that, it looks like it's still trying to load some, so yeah, actually, does seem to have picked up actually quite a lot of files, which considering how many times this drive has been erased and re-erased in one of you, that's actually quite impressive. But do they actually play? So what have we got here? Uh, let's try that one. I'm not sure what that is, but let's have a look. There we go. This is one of the files from the uh, Pixabay library, which you can uh, download free footage for use in YouTube videos, etc. 
So yeah, that's actually worked out really well. And what else have we got? Just to see if they do actually play. Yeah, they all seem to be playing fine. So if you've got video files that you've lost, then this may be a good way of recovering them. And they seem to be in high definition that they were originally intended. So yeah, happy days. And as you can see, we've got tons of stuff here. So we've got docs, JPEGs, MP4s, PDFs, PNGs, zip files, and also there's a, a log of the recovered files. So like I said, you could just easily highlight all of that, right click on it and choose copy and then save it to your desktop and then weed through it a little bit to gain any particular files. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm uh, pretty impressed. So just to show you what I meant about not being able to find them. So if I close this window now, and we'll close that because we're done with that. And if we try and open up again, so we go into our C drive, which is where we put the files. And yeah, there's nothing called recovery there. Now we are actually showing hidden files, so it should technically be there, which is a little bit odd. I don't quite understand that. So if we go into the local search and we'll type in recovery. And wait for it to search. I suppose we could have actually narrowed it down, but didn't seem to want to do that. And being that it's in the root, it makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess. Okay, so that is all of our recovery files. So you could obviously sort that, but there is the file string. So you could actually search by the file string. So if you know the date you actually did the recovery, you could find it that way. And there you go, C colon recovery, but doesn't appear in Windows Explorer for some reason. If we go into that, and that is our files that we wanted to recover. So yeah, overall, I'm actually quite pleased with that. So that is the Windows File Recovery Program, which is free from Microsoft, which can be useful for recovering bits and pieces from your flash drives, uh, various types of media, hard drives, all sorts, of, any kind of storage media, you can pretty much try and recover from it. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I, uh, well, it's free, so there's not a lot you can dislike about it. Time-wise, we started this round about, I think it's about 6.30, and it's just nearly seven o'clock, so half an hour to recover, 40 something thousand files, isn't too bad in my opinion and it's one of those things you can just leave let it do its own thing you don't have to stand there nannying over it obviously you can if you want to or just put it to one side but all in all seems pretty decent it doesn't cost a thing so definitely worth a try if you want more information on how the program works and all that kind of stuff i'll put some links in the video description below so you can check out it for yourself but yeah really pleased it works like a charm and has recovered the files what more could you ask for so that wraps things up i'll be mike this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.